What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Briggs. I travel and make videos. I also drink far too much coffee, but that's an entirely different video. I recently did a video about Honesdale, Pennsylvania. It's a little town in the northeastern section of Pennsylvania. In the last year or two, I've fallen in love with this place. It's an amazing small town. My last video about Honesdale, I was able to talk to the local sheriff, the CEO of the local hospital, and the head of the school district. It's kind of amazing that they actually took time in their day to talk to me. This town is filled with good people. It's also filled with good fishing, which is another thing that draws me and a lot of other people to Honesdale. I love to fish. I grew up less than a mile from the Pacific Ocean in California, and I started fishing when I was about five years old. In the ocean and various lakes around Southern California, Honesdale is in Wayne County, and they have far too many fishing spots to name in a 10 minute video. Now that's just the fishing in the Honesdale area. When you branch out to the rest of Wayne County, it gets crazy. This place is like an angler's dream. The first person I talked to was Brian Smith. He's the chairman for the Wayne County Commissioners. Here's Brian. I'm Brian Smith. I'm chairman of the Wayne County Commissioners. We have hundreds of lakes and ponds, and we have 50 miles of the Delaware River that takes on our eastern border. The one thing we have here is great cooperation from Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. We have places where you have public boat launches. You can take your boat and go fishing. And they actually are involved in many different stocking of different species. It's a comprehensive program where they put forward an effort to stock so many different kind of fish here in Wayne County. I'm Brian Smith, Chairman of the Wayne County Commissioners, and we welcome you to Wayne County. Brian talked about working with the people that stock the fish. So I headed on up to the Pleasant Mountain State Fish Hatchery and talked to Dave Kineski. This is where they raise the fish for the stocking of all the different waterways. It looked like a really cool place to work. Constructed in 1903, the Pleasant Mountain State Fish Hatchery originally was called the Wayne Hatchery. This place consists of a few different facilities. The main fish hatchery where I went was, it's about 70 acres. The average fish population here is 25,963,170 fish on average. That's the number from the state website, and it seems a little too accurate. I would expect them to say, well, roughly 26 million fish. They got it down to 170. Who counted all the guppies? Anyway, here's Dave. Hey, my name is Dave Kineski. I'm the Waterways Conservation Officer for Northern Wayne County. Uh, I've been assigned here since 1998, so it's right about 21 years uh, that I've been here. And Wayne County has everything you can ask for when we're talking about fishing. We have the West Branch of the Delaware River, we have the Delaware River, we have Lake Long Paul Pack, we have hundreds upon hundreds of impoundments from small ponds to big lakes. Any species of fish that exists east of the Rockies, you can pretty much catch in Wayne County. There's a few of them that are actually unique to the Delaware River Basin. Uh, we'll have our annual shad run. The shad are on their way up to Delaware. They didn't make it this far yet, but that'll draw a lot of fishermen to the Delaware River. Um, there are six Fish and Boat Commission accesses on the Pennsylvania side, and New York mirrors us on the, on the New York side. So there's a, a ton of public access for anyone who wants to come here fishing. Uh, the shad run, there's stripers in the Delaware River, there's stripers in Lake Wall and Paul Pack, and they get big. Uh, there's massive channel catfish. You can get them up, upwards of 20, 20 plus pounds um, in a number of different places. Uh, we have public access lakes. We have uh, a slew of them from Prompton Dam, which is a Corps of Engineer lake with a public boat launch, to Belmont Lake, Long Pond, Duck Harbor, Upper Woods. Uh, there's a pile of them. There's a lot of fishing opportunity up here. Right now, in the middle of April, trout season just opened on sat this past Saturday. So we're in the process of stocking trout. We replenish the trout that the fishermen catch, and that's quite a sight to see. Uh, we'll be doing Upper Woods in the East Branch of the Dyberry uh, Creek uh, Friday. This Friday we're going to stock it. Um, and it just goes on and on and on until about mid-May. Then the boating fishermen get more, more involved. Uh, there's boat launches at all of our access areas. This is where they do all the record taking and technical stuff at the hatchery. Again, they were more than welcoming. They let me wander around, film, and ask dumb questions, which if you spend any amount of time with me, you know I have a lot of dumb questions. They had different tanks for different fish and sizes. It was really interesting. The thing I really enjoyed about this place, it didn't smell like a bait station. That's my favorite thing about freshwater versus saltwater fish. The smell. It's like there is no real smell in freshwater. 
Next, we got to talk to Tim Schaefer. He's the executive director of the Fish and Boat Commission for the entire state of Pennsylvania. After talking to Tim for a while, I decided he needs to look into a radio career when he's done doing the fish and boat stuff. Take a listen. You'll see what I'm talking about. Hi, my name is Tim Schaefer. I'm the executive director of the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. And today we're here at Belmont Lake, one of a number of facilities we operate and manage on behalf of the Commonwealth here in Wayne County, Pennsylvania. Uh, personally, I have to tell you, Wayne County holds a special place in my heart. I got engaged over at Lake Wallen Paul Pack. Uh, so uh, again, it's been a special place for me for a real long time. Been coming up here ever since I was a little kid. So what we'd like to do today is uh, tell you a little bit more uh, about the fishing and boating opportunities that, that the Fish and Boat Commission has for anglers and boaters here in Wayne County, uh, as well as some of the other opportunities that we have in surrounding parts of Pennsylvania. So every year, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission stocks 3.2 million trout statewide across the Commonwealth. Here in Wayne County, we stock 12 different streams and rivers, and we stock three different lakes. Uh, to find out where we stock, you can find, there's a couple really easy tools we have for you. You can go to fishandboat.com, that's our website. We have our stocking schedules that are listed there. You can literally click on and sort by county. We also have a really handy mobile app. It's Fish Boat PA, spelled just like it sounds. Download that for your phone. You can find out where all the trout are stocked here in Wayne County, find out where different fishing access spots are, find out how to buy a fishing license. We really call it the best tool in your tackle box. Belmont Lake's a really popular local fishery, hosts an abundance of different species. One of the great things about Wayne County is you can fish for everything from trout to muskies to striped bass. Um, pick your favorite species and you can find it here in Wayne County. During trout season, we stock uh, throughout from March in through May. We really welcome anglers to come join us for those stockings. Again, if you go to fishandboat.com or a mobile app, app, you can find out where and when the stockings will take place. They're all open to the public and we encourage you to join us. Finally, we just want to say come to Wayne County. Great fishing, everything you can ask for in a fishing experience is here in Wayne County. Uh, come join us, please. Now, Brian, Dave, and Tim were filled with great information about the fishing in Honesdale and Wayne County, and I appreciate their time and knowledge. I did also talk to some local fishermen while they were fishing, but sadly, sometimes when you film on the water, you get too much wind. In this case, it was really unfortunate because they had some great information that I would love to have gotten out here, but it was just too blown out. Next time, I'll get them. All right, so that's my video. The thing about Honesdale and Wayne County is they have so much water that it's an ideal place for anyone that enjoys fishing or just being on the water. If you're from a state in the West that's like forever in the state of drought, you'd feel like this place is a little unreal. If you're an angler and the type of person that spends far too much time at the Bass Pro Shop, you need to take a look at this area. My next fishing video about Pennsylvania, I hope, is in the winter. I want to do some ice fishing around Honesdale. That could be pretty good. I've been looking forward to that for a couple of years now. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.